Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Daily Shakespeare. My name is Michael. Today is Wednesday, and that means we're taking a look at another one of Shakespeare's villains. Now, if you've been following along this far, you know that my favorite play is Hamlet, so it was only a matter of time before one of these Wednesdays we got to Claudius. Claudius is one of my favorite villains of all time. He is such an exquisite and excellent politician throughout all of this, the maneuvers that he makes, the ways that he pits parties against one another to retain his power, to maintain the status quo, is a truly incredible thing to behold. Today we're going to look at something a little bit interesting. This is a moment of, uh, let's not say weakness, but a moment of conscience from Claudius. Here he is kneeling, praying, and while he is praying, Hamlet finds him there and decides, no, I cannot kill him now, because if I kill him now, he will go to heaven, and that is not revenge. But Hamlet does not hear most of this speech, which if he had, I imagine Hamlet would have leapt on him immediately with a dagger, because he admits everything that he has done. Let's go ahead and take a listen. Oh, my offense is rank. It smells to heaven. It hath the primal eldest curse upon it. A brother's murder. Pray I cannot, though inclination be as sharp as will. My stronger guilt defeats my strong intent. And like a man to double business bound, I stand in pause where I shall first begin and both neglect. What if this cursed hand were thicker than itself with brother's blood? Is there not rain enough in the sweet heavens to wash it white as snow? Where to serves mercy but to confront the visage of offense? And what in prayer but this twofold force to be forestalled ere we come to fall or pardon being down. I'll look up. My fault is past. But oh, what form of prayer can serve my turn? Forgive me my foul murder. That cannot be since I am still possessed of those effects for which I did the murder. My crown mine own ambition, and my queen. May one be pardoned and retain the offense. In the corrupted currents of this world, offenses guild in hand may shove by justice, and oft to seen the wicked prize itself buys out the law. But tis not so above. There is no shuffling. There the action lies in his true nature. And we ourselves, compelled even to the teeth and forehead of our faults to give in evidence. What then? What rests? Try what repentance can. What can it not? Yet what can it when one cannot repent? A wretched state. A bosom black as death. A lined soul that struggled to be free art more engaged. Help, angels, make a say. Bow stubborn knees. And heart with strings of steel be as soft as the sinews of the newborn babe. All may be well. My words fly up. My thoughts remain below. Prayers without thoughts never to heaven go. So we see a man who is dealing with some guilt, who is deeply conflicted about the acts that he has taken. An excellent villain. That's all the time that we have for today. Thank you so much for joining me. As always, there's a comment section below. I love to hear from people. You can also click that subscribe button. That way there will be a new Shakespeare video in your YouTube feed every single day. 
as there is a new video every single day. Until tomorrow, cheers.